The push for justice continues after two Nevada State Police troopers were killed in the line of duty last week. Sergeant Michael Abate and Trooper Alberto Felix were responding to a car on the shoulder of the I-15 early Thursday when they were hit by a driver who left the scene. 46-year-old Jamarcus Williams was arrested a short time later, but as new evidence comes to light, a lingering question without answers. Why was a Nevada State Police badge inside the, suspect's impaired, the suspected impaired driver's car? That's just one of the questions arising from the arrest report we just obtained today. And Fox 5's Joe Vigil has more. Well, after searching suspect Jamarcus Williams' car, an arrest report has one line that says detectives located a Nevada State Police Medal badge with no explanation. We have asked Metro if the badge belongs to one of the troopers. And if so, did Williams stop at the scene, find a badge and pick it up? Or is it possible after hitting the troopers, the badge landed in Williams' car? We just don't know at this time. The arrest report also details how a license plate reader indicated the suspect vehicle was at the Palms Casino. Here is a timeline according to the arrest report. Williams was spotted coming and going into the Palms on the 29th, having a drink at the Tonic Bar. And after midnight on the 30th, Williams joined a group at the Ghost Bar. The table was reserved with a bottle of Hennessy plus three vodka drinks. At 1.46 a.m., the arrest report says Williams paid cash for a drink at the bar and later appeared heavily intoxicated, approached several women who turned him away. Between 3.01 and 3.04 a.m., Williams used an elevator to leave the bar and appear lost as he walked around the casino. That's when security started following him. An incident report was also generated at the Palms, which stated an intoxicated man was being escorted out. Then at 3.15 a.m., Williams appeared to hide from security behind a tree. And at 3.22, Williams backed out of his parking spot and left, with the crash happening just shortly after. Jovi Hill, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And the arrest report says police got a search warrant for a blood draw from Williams. That took place at 12.18 p.m., nine hours after the crash. A second sample was taken an hour later. The blood was impounded for testing at the Metro Police Forensic Lab. The Palms Casino sent us a statement saying it is fully cooperating with Metro's investigation.